Andy Moore, BBC News. In a moment, we'll speak to our political correspondent, Chris Mason, who's in Westminster. But first, let's talk to our correspondent, Dan Johnson, who's in Manchester. And there is really now a countdown to this deadline, isn't there? Morning. Absolutely, yes. All eyes on the government, really, to see what happens at midday. But first, we should see what happens this morning, whether there are further talks, whether there can be any more progress. I'm not sure how much hope there is for that, because we've been here before. We've been talking about this for day after day after day now. There was some optimism yesterday that people were ready to get back around the table again and to thrash this out to try and reach a deal. But it didn't happen yesterday. The leaders in Manchester say that is mainly because a deal on a hardship fund to try and support local workers was suddenly taken off the table by government ministers yesterday. There was bad feeling about that. They've also questioned the figures that the government's been putting forward as justification for imposing these measures. We were told that ICU beds, intensive care beds in hospitals around Greater Manchester were filling up, that the government was concerned, particularly about the numbers of older people who were going into hospitals suffering with the virus. Well, local leaders have said, actually, capacity is about the same as it normally would be at around this time of year. We're not sure that there's as much pressure as the government is making out here. Now, they've accepted that restrictions do need to be tightened, that things do need to change, but they've questioned whether those very high level measures would actually be effective. And the real sticking point has been the support for workers, whether there is enough money to help those who will be put out of work, at least temporarily, by these tighter restrictions. That's where the real sticking point has been and where there's real bad feeling now and a question about trust and good faith in these negotiations. And if they are imposed, by the government, how that will be received by people in Manchester. Dan, so many questions.